Shaughnessy with the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy looking at our journal prompt for today and um, we're going to be talking about negative space. Um, negative space is the space where stuff isn't. <laughs> it's kind of fun to think about. It's different. Um, we usually think about putting things somewhere, not leaving spaces. And um, negative space is really important in art, it's really important in life, it's important in music, it's like the spaces between the sounds, the pauses. I do today, we're going to take this page, it's just a blank page, and all I've done is I took the same thing and I sort of traced a circle on both sides, I just used this and sort of traced around it on both sides of this page. So one other thing that I've done is trace a third circle, the same circle, um, on another page, I'm going to cut this one out. And um, I did this in the page that we used for our lyric page, which I'm still working on. But um, so I had a black, um, just covered a page in black. I made this little cutout of a, um, a cameo. I placed it on here, and when I flipped my white around it, um, it kept you know that space empty. Uh, and then I put the lyrics inside that blank space. So that's one way to do it. We're gonna sort of do the same thing here. I'm putting this down because um, I don't wanna to have to worry too much about getting it perfect um, around this edge. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take my black paint. I'm just using some black gesso. I might cover it over with um, black acrylic later if this gets too, gesso can sometimes be a little bit chalky. It's not very shiny. Um, so I kinda of just wanna see which effect I like better in this page. So I'm going to start and go out this way. If you come down over your, you know, the piece that you're holding, sometimes you can get underneath it and I kind of want to avoid that. So just up and out and then down this, this side over here. So in this circle, um, what I'm going to do is keep the page white. I'm going to color in the circle black, but uh, before I color it in black, before I paint black in this inside this circle, I'm going to put some words in here. Um, you could put a picture, like you could draw a heart or a star or some sort of easily recognizable shape. Um, you could use sort of a cameo shape like this one. You need a little bit of a bigger circle for that. Um, whatever you want in the center, and we're going to paint the black around that and really emphasize that negative space. I think it's fun to do letters and words as negative space, um, especially with the words underneath. It's just so interesting, and there's so many like layers involved in that. So I'm going to use a line from a poem. Um, this is a poem by Rainer Maria Rilke. Uh, he is a German poet. Um, I won't read you the whole poem. Let me see. He says, and then I'll point out the line that I'm going to use in here. He says, flare up like a flame and make big shadows I can move in. Let everything happen to you, beauty and terror. Just keep going. No feeling is final. Don't let yourself lose me. Nearby is the country they call life. You will know it by its seriousness. Give me your hand. Um, so that's the poem that I'm going to use. And the line that I'm going to pick is the line that says, just keep going, no feeling is final. It's a good reminder to, to me um, to just keep going, that this is not the end. Th this feeling will, will be done and a new one will come. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to just quickly write in those words and then I will hop back on and show you how we paint around them. I to show you, I actually made a little bit of a switch. It was too much to try to fit in my one circle, so I decided to do the first half, the just keep going on this side, and then the no feeling is final on this side. Um, so I'm just going to quickly sort of show you how that looks. Sometimes lettering can be um, difficult when you're thinking about fitting something into a space. So one thing that I've found that's pretty helpful is to sort of start in the center line. So I knew that N needed to be in the center. So I started with that letter and then I wrote the um, the other letters sort of around them like that. <laughs> um, so that might be helpful to you. Um, so let me do this real quick. I'm using some black ink uh, and a, sorry, some black ink and a thin paintbrush. I like to um, do lettering with ink. Uh, you can also use paint, um, but sometimes the ink is just nice and smooth. Um, so I'm going to do this real quick. You just got to make sure you have just enough, not too much. That ink is very potent. So I'm going to more or less trace those letters that I've written. You just keep going, right? <laughs> just like Rilke says. All right, I'm going to do this for you. We'll come back in just a minute. 
Okay, so I got this first side done with that ink and the brush, and here it goes. And you can see my letters are not perfect. Some are fat, some are skinny, um, but it's there, right? My Even my circle got a little bit messed up. Um, I'm not too worried about that. This, this side is going to be a little bit different because we are using those sort of those block letters, and I want the inside of those letters to show through. So I want to paint inside the circle. I want everything to be black except the inside of the letters, and I'm going to let that be the negative space, like the inside of the letters themselves. So I want to make sure that I don't get inside those letters too much. So I'm going to take, um, you can take a Sharpie, um, you can take a paint pen, whatever you have that has a pretty skinny tip to it, and I'm going to go over those letters and sort of give that outline because it's going to be a little bit tricky to get in, in and around those, like the inside of the O, um, and in between the eye and the dot of the eye, I just want to make sure I get those very well, and then I can sort of paint over the rest of it. So let me get outline those, and we'll come right back. All right, so it gets a little tricky. I had some trouble with my marker. It kind of um, fudged a little bit. So some of my letters are a little bit squished, especially here. Um, but it's okay. We're just going to keep going. Uh, and so I'm going to now um, take my paintbrush and, and sort of fill in around. I also defined the edges of the circle a little bit, so I would um, have a line to go on um, as I was finishing. All right, so here we go. I have a couple things that are bothering you about this. I think I know how to fix them. Um, here's my uh, here's my two pages here, and we're just looking at that negative space, right? Just a way of, of looking um, inside and outside sort of of the same page. We have black with white and black letters. We have white with black and white letters. Um, that N and that G are just bothering me a lot. So I think I might do something fun and sort of like cut out an N and a G from a magazine and put them in there. Um, uh, just sort of make a little like ransom note looking um, maybe for that whole word. I'm not sure. So I'll keep playing with it. You keep playing with yours and I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.